Hello everyone and welcome back to Piggy Crumbs. Apologies for an absolutely messy cage. Um, I have some slight news today and I'm hoping it's only temporary news but we will wait and see. So you will notice that the cage is changed and we have another one there with a separator because someone decided to be adventurous yesterday. Um, but we have three piggies in here. We have Rolo, um, we have, sorry Rolo, there's a gust bun there, <laughs> and then, sorry Rolo, there's a digger in there as well, but we can't see him because he's black. Um, so, yeah, three piggies in here, in a two by four at the moment, um, for reasons that I'll explain in a minute. And then in this two by four here, so basically I split the old cage, um, and in here, we have Rocky. Hi, Rocky. Again, apologies for the completely messy cage. It's first thing in the morning, and we're going to be doing something today with the cages. So, why is Rocky separate? And I don't know fully why Rocky is separate. I know why I've separated him, but I don't know why his behaviour has changed very rapidly. Um, if anyone follows us on Instagram, you'll know that Rocky went in for some stitches in his eye, or lack of eye, <laughs> side, um, Tuesday of the week previous. Um, this was just to finish off the eye healing, just to stitch it finally, the last bits together, um, and fingers crossed, that's what it would have done. But of course, with it being Rocky, that's not what happened. Um, so I kept him separate for the one evening, um, just to let obviously, you know, he would have smelt a bit like the vets and whatnot. Um, and then I did try and introduce him to the others. And over the period of time that they were sort of being normal, you know, they'd only been away separate for a few hours. Um, I say a few hours, probably like 24 hours. Um, but the others had obviously been up to the other cage, smelt him, they could see him, they were trying to get to him. Um, as if to say like, oh he's on his own, don't let him be on his own, and Rocky obviously was miserable on his own because he's a very social piggy. But when I put them all back together, I don't know whether Rocky and Rolo have had a disagreement about something, but what I thought was potentially Rolo being aggressive towards Rocky, just because of his age, you know, Rolo is just over a year, he's probably about 15 months old, um, which is the time that they can be a bit funny. Um, and as I watched them more and more, I worked out that it was actually Rocky sort of instigating things. Now, I don't know if it's a bit of both. Um, Rocky's obviously blind, um, although he likes to play on that a little bit and bop into everyone's bum. And Rolo is particularly uptight about that. He hates anyone touching him. Um, so... I think it was a bit of Rolo being overly sensitive and Rocky playing him up. But whenever sort of Rolo would just move his bum, Rocky would almost start teeth chattering as if to say like, Oi, let me touch your bum. So yeah, there was a lot of teeth chattering. I haven't found any marks on their bodies, but there was definitely disrupted skin as if maybe someone had had a little nipple. Um, no blood, but there was quite a few sort of lunges and Obviously, Rocky's still healing, um, and I didn't want the bond completely to break, as it were. Because, like I say, I'm hoping this is temporary. I'm hoping maybe a little bit of time apart, um, and I can introduce them again. I don't know. This might be the end of the four personhood and person piggyhood. <laughs> um, so yes, we will wait and see. It does upset me very much that this has happened, and. Obviously, Rocky was always bottom of the herd, so whether that, maybe he'd had enough and was challenging Rolo, who was number two. But um, the other reason he's on his own and not with one of the other pigs is that no matter who I put with him, whether it's Gus or Digger, um, Digger was the one who decided to try and leap over here, which I thought, oh, maybe Digger wants to be with Rocky, um, which he obviously did for a certain amount of time until Rocky just started to hound him and Rocky's always been a little bit like this with Gus Gus 
um, and I'm worried that obviously this is part of the reason we're having the issues is that he doesn't hump but he likes to follow people around pretend to hump lick their bum and all sorts and he hangs them and it's not done in like a malicious way it's done in like a I love you kind of way but it is OTT it is over the top so at the moment this dude seems to be okay on his own he's mellowed down a lot and um, he was running a few laps last night and whatnot but he does that on a normal day anyway and um, but he seems pretty mellow so yeah I don't know if maybe it's some of his neurological issues maybe have got a little bit worse causing him to do things like chasing the guys and whatnot um, and then obviously not understanding maybe why they don't want him to touch their bums um, but yeah slightly disappointing like I say I'm hoping it's temporary we'll see how we go but this poor dude and the others have enough issues in their life um, with a few having a few health issues so I don't want to make their lives even more stressful and this dude is pretty chill today he's not going to like me today because we're going back to the vets because like I said it would be okay carrying on because my iPhone was full of storage so I had to delete some stuff um yeah as I was saying um he had some stitches last week and it would have been nice if everything was nice and easy but Rocky being Rocky either the stitches opened because the skin was too thin or whatnot or he has scratched his eye and opened up I don't think it was even the stitches because to me the stitches are still in the one part of the eye in the skin so he's opened it up anyway um which is fine it was open up for a long time before I'm not worried about it in the slightest it just would have been nice um for the stitches to stay in um and we're off to the vets today for a checkup to see if they want to maybe try again or try a different method or if we just leave it I don't know um obviously the only problem I have with it being open is one it could get infected because it is open not massively open just slightly um and part of that is because it is slightly open he could get hay and things in it um he's tended to be okay we've had the odd day um but yeah I'm just conscious it could happen more often um so the other thing as well going on today, this is kind of an updates video, I guess. I wasn't planning on doing an updates video, but so they, I've split the cage, obviously. Um, and we'll go back over to these guys. Oh, there's Digger. Hello, mister. Hey, cutie. You are the hardest person to capture on photo and video, aren't you? Because your eyes just look like part of your body. No. <laughs> so. Um, the cage is also split today because I'm planning on redoing the cage. Now, I was going to do this for all four biggies, but um, these three guys are going to have the rebuilt cage and Rocky's obviously going to be separate in a CNC cage for a little while. So, what you do? You're going to have a drink. Sorry for the lighting, guys. I've had to, it's quite gloomy today, so I've had to put the lights on. Oh, you're such a sensitive drinker, aren't you? You're not like Rocky, you tug at it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I will do a video once I've built the cage. Um, it's going to be like an IKEA DIY hack cage. Um, and I'll show you the end result, because I'm not sure if how I picture it is going to quite turn out um, how it works. But we'll wait and see. So yes, not a video I really wanted to make, but I've always been prepared for a breakdown in the bond of these four. Um, it's quite unusual to have four bonded boys, and I was always waiting for the two youngest potentially to cause issues just when they went through the age that they are now. Well, more so Rolo and then Digger going through it later. And I always thought it would be this chap who is just trouble with a capital T. He likes to wind me up. I don't know if he likes to wind the piggies up, but he likes to like wind me up. Um, so I always thought it would be this one, potentially on his own. 
not Rocky, who obviously is one of my original two. But just shows you that you never know what's going to happen. So you always have to have a backup plan and be able to sort these things out when they happen. So, hey, hey where are you going? <laughs> so that's the end for this video. I will keep you updated, obviously. Stay tuned to the channel on anything that happens. And the new cage design will come up in a video very soon. So thank you for watching and we'll see you very soon. Bye.